Welcome back to KRDO News Channel 13 at noon. We are looking at mostly sunny skies and dry conditions across the region with wind speeds, get this, mostly cooperating, staying under 10 miles an hour with just a few breezy areas. Temperatures aren't bad. Happy November to us. We're in some of the 50s and the 60s for the lower elevations with the 30s and the 40s for areas in the high country. Here's a glance at wind gusts, what we expect this afternoon, pausing the clock at 5 p.m. And during this time, you see just a couple of those blustery areas, but beyond that, winds are expected to primarily stay under 10 miles an hour. Nothing to show for you on Live HD Doppler radar. I don't expect any sort of weather issues coming back from work later on tonight as we are staying very dry. We pause the clock on SkyCast at 3 p.m. and during this time you see that we'll struggle to make out some clouds. We might develop some clouds over the central mountains, northwest mountains. That will be about it. Overnight lows will be chilly. We'll dip to some of the 20s and the 30s for the lower terrain. Upper teens for Alamosa. Some of the teens in store for the San Luis Valley as well as Gunnison and Leadville, so make sure you bundle up. Now, both today and tomorrow look relatively quiet weather wise, but it's going to be Thanksgiving when we could really start to see a change. Make sure to not only go to our website, CARDIO.com, but also download our app. You can see our latest video forecasts along with our interactive radar and current conditions, all very easily accessible on your mobile device. And here's a look at the change I was mentioning earlier. Now, first, we'll start with tomorrow. We'll be just a bit breezy for your Tuesday, but not bad. Temperatures will be in the upper 50s. On Wednesday, that's when we usher in a cold front. And behind that cold front, temperatures will be very cool, only reaching the upper 20s for Thanksgiving. So I really think that's going to be the main thing that you notice. But with some icy and snow packed areas, although this will be a light snow event, I, I think that you might have some trouble if you're out and about getting to Grandma's house and through the woods. We keep in the possibility for some snow all the way through Saturday with drier weather possible Sunday into Monday. In Pueblo, take a look. Relatively warm tomorrow with the mid to upper 60s. Low 60s by Wednesday. That cold front impacts us. We really drop temperatures. We'll only stay in the mid-20s for high temperatures on Friday with the possibility for some of the white stuff through Saturday and drier weather expected Sunday to Monday. In Canyon City, we'll be at 63 for today's high temperature. Mid-30s only on Thursday. So make sure to stick with us as we are going to be keeping you posted on some of those expected snow totals on Thanksgiving. Yeah, there is the possibility for a bit of a rain and snow mix Friday into Saturday, and we're going to watch that to see if that forecast changes. 49 tomorrow for Teller County, a bit more breezy, but still comfortable. Wednesday, we have that cold front. Temperatures drop Thursday, Thanksgiving to the mid-20s. We only stay in the upper teens by Friday in Teller County. We will have another glance at Live HD Doppler radar and a few other live looks from across the region coming up next. So, if one model says a half inch of snow and the other says an inch and a half, do we split the difference? Uh, we like to do that model blending, right? That's something <laughs> we do on a daily basis. But we're going to wait to throw out official totals for a little bit until we get more of a consensus. All right, get closer to.